So your first album, Me and My Hustle, classic. Yes, sir. That was under CeeLo Records. Appreciate it. Man, how you met CeeLo? Yes, sir. Um, okay, I met I met Lo. Okay, I, it's kind of like a long story. I'm 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 gonna go all the way back to the beginning for you. I met Bleed first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hmm. So I met Bleed when I was where where. Okay, I had two older cousins that went to high school with Bleed. They grew up with Bleed in the same neighborhood called Mayfair. Right. So, um, one day. This is after I moved back to Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? One day we was just in the house chilling and watching uh, videos and Criss Cross came on. I know you remember Criss Cross. They was jump, like jump, kids. yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so we was watching the video and I was like, I just made a comment to them. I was like, man, them niggas can't see me. Like I, you know, I, 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 I rap better than them niggas, you know what I'm saying? And they were like, what you mean you rap? You, 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 you rap? Let me hear something. So I started rapping for him, you know what I'm saying? They were like, damn. You know, so, um, you know, fast forward, they was like, man, look, we got a partner named Tank. They used to call him Tank back then. Say, man, he 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 rapping, he be recording and all this shit, man. We gonna plug you up with him. So they ended up putting me on the phone with, with Tank, who is Bleed, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But he used to be called Tank. Okay. So they, put, they ended up putting me on the phone with him and, uh, so once I, you know, me and Blee start talking, like I used to like every day I would come home, like I write raps in school and I come home and I call Blee, be like, man, check this bitch out, you know, and just rap raps over the phone for him. So I had actually was talking to him on the phone for like maybe about two or three years before I actually met him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Damn. So one day, yeah, cause, cause, cause like I said, I was, you know, I, at this time I was in the country town. So, you know what I'm saying? I was kind of like, Far away from everything. Yeah. So uh so one day, you know, I was I was across the river, I was in BR at my cousin house, and um uh, they 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 bought bleed over there to actually meet me. You know what I'm saying? And uh me and my cousin was outside playing basketball and like about five cars pulled up with a bunch of niggas and all of them, and I'm just looking like, man, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you. And them niggas just jumped out and was like, man, this this, uh, this tank, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay. So that's how we linked up. And then from there, you know, time progressing, you know, we got a little older. We started doing more shit together. And then that's when um, like Happy and Bond and everybody come into the picture. And um, so at the same time, you know, Glee grew up with Lope. You know okay. what I'm saying? They grew up in, in the same neighborhood in South Baton Rouge. And uh, Bleed, well, Lope used to be Bleed DJ back in the day. You know Man, what I'm saying? So, so Lope was, was a DJ. DJ. He was a DJ at first, and he was Bleed DJ. And so eventually, you know, um, Lope started his own label, and he put out uh, he put out a, a first album called Southside Thing. I think he had like about four or five songs on it. It was like a little EP. But mm -hmm. then when he went back to work on this, uh, on this like real, you know, album, Who's Gonna Ride, Classic. that's when he got back with Bleed and he got uh, Bleed into the picture, you know, to kind of do some shit with him on there. So when Who's Gonna Ride came out, that shit just blew up, you know what I'm saying? Like that right. shit was the hottest shit in Baton Rouge at the time, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, so that was kind of like when you know, low he 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 came out, he made some noise, he established himself in his label, and then he was like, Man, you know, he wanted to build his label up. So Bleed was like, Man, I got these young niggas I fuck with. You know, you you need to, you know, check them out. So Bleed actually bought us to Lope. You know what I'm saying? And that's how all all this shit formed. 